All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about a program I use called PureRef. If you're not familiar, PureRef is a program that allows you to create image boards for your projects by dragging and dropping reference images into the program, and then you can organize them into groups for easy access while you're working. To get PureRef, just go to PureRef.com and click the Get PureRef button. And here on the download page, you can choose which version you want. I'm still using this previous one, but now they have this 2.0 version available. So choose the one you want. Then choose which, uh, which one of these versions works for you. Uh, most people are probably going to use the personal version, I, I would imagine. Then choose uh, your platform. And then come down here and decide how much you want to contribute. You can do 15 or 7, or you can do a custom amount if you want to contribute more or less. You can even do zero if you want. But I would encourage you, if you can, to donate something, even if it's just a couple bucks. I'm not sponsored by PRF or anything. I just think it's a really good program. So when you're done uh, and you're ready to go, just click the checkout button to complete your purchase. So once you have PureRef installed and open, all you're going to see is this big blank window. There are no toolbars or borders that you can grab onto. So if you want to, if you want to move the window around, what you do is click and hold your right mouse button, and then you can reposition the window somewhere on screen. And if you want PureRef to fill your whole screen, you can hit Control F to maximize. Or you can go to, uh, if you right click, you can go to Window and Maximize. And then to get out of it again, you can hit Control F or go back to Window and uncheck Maximize. And if you want to resize the window, just hover your cursor on an edge or at the corner and you can resize the window. If you have a two monitor setup, that's ideal because you can park pure ref on your second monitor while you're working on your primary monitor. But if you only have a single monitor or you're working on a laptop, you can just reduce the size of the window and stick it up in the corner and then go to mode and choose always on top. And that will make sure that pure ref is always on top of whatever program you're working in. Like if I open up Blender here, you can see that PureRef doesn't go away while I'm working here in, in Blender. It's always going to be there with my reference images. Now, to start creating an image board, all you have to do is drag and drop images from a folder where you have your images saved, or you can drag them in directly from your web browser. But first, um, if you see this little lock icon down here in the, in the corner, that means this canvas is locked and you can't do anything with it. You can't drag any images in or do anything. So to unlock the canvas, you can hit uh, Control R. That'll toggle the lock on and off. Or you can right click and go to Canvas and uncheck Lock Canvas. So here's my folder of images that I collected when I was creating my Stormblade model. Unfortunately, I didn't have PureRef back when I did this. So I was constantly digging around in these folders looking for the images I needed, which was not ideal. So to place an image uh, in PureRef, all you have to do is click and drag. Then you can zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse. And you can resize the image by grabbing the corner and just click and drag. And if you need to, you can rotate the image by hovering your cursor at the corner. And then if you drag off a little bit and you see the cursor change, now you can rotate. And if you did that accidentally, just hit Control Z to set it back. 
and you can drag and drop multiple images at the same time. Just simply select the ones you want and then drag and drop them on the canvas. And now with all of these here, I'm going to select all of them and then hit Control P and that'll group them all together. Or you can right click and go to Images, Arrange and select Optimal and that does the same thing. And now that I have all of these here, I'm going to right click and go to Note or you can hit Control N and I can label these. These are from my front folder, so I'll name this front. Stick this up here. Now I want to add other images from my other folders, so I'm going to come over here to the rear folder and I'll, I'll grab, grab these and drag them in. And then I will right click and add a note rear and I'll come to the side folder and uh, maybe I'll grab some of these okay I'll grab these and I'll add a note side and then Top, grab these, add a note, so you can create a bunch of different groups for different views or whatever, and you can add as many images as you need for each group. I only chose a few from each folder just to show how this works. And like I said before, you can drag images in directly from your web browser. So if you find some more that you like, just click and drag. And then you can resize it, position it. And if you decide some of these you don't really need, you can just select them and hit delete, take them out. So once you're finished adding images, you can see that we have all this extra space out around the edges here. To get rid of that, you can just uh, hit Control O and that will reduce the boundary down to where it fits around your images and text. Or you can right click and go to Canvas and Optimize, which is Control O, so it does the same thing. And now to make sure that you don't accidentally grab one of your images and move it while you're trying to pan and zoom in and out, you want to lock your canvas. So hit Control R to lock it, or you can right click and go to Canvas and lock canvas, Control R. So anyway, there are other features in the menu that you can check out on your own. But that's pretty much the basics of the program. And I covered all the features that I typically use. Okay, I was just editing this video and realized that I forgot a couple of very important things. First of all, once you have your image board set up the way you want it, you need to save it. So make sure you right click and save to your project folder. If you don't save it, you're going to lose everything you just did. Also, to close PRF, right click and close or Control X. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.